Hi, I'm at the Bainbridge Island Museum, and I wanted to share with you, if you come to Bainbridge Island, you definitely have to come here. It's a great museum. It talks about the history of the island, and it's they have a lot of artifacts inside. Um, they have the history um, of the war, uh, World War II, and how the Japanese, unfortunately, they were deported from their homes um, during the encampments. And they have a whole showcase um, showing letters from family members in a film. They also talk about the indigenous uh, population and Filipino, African American, um, uh, Croatians, and their um, contribute how they contribute to Bainbridge Island. And if you ever come here, if you have the chance to come here, it is a nice uh, area with lots of trees. So they have a wonderful exhibit on here on different types of trees that have um, that will live up to 700, some of them a thousand years. So let's go inside the museum and let's I'll show you a little bit of what they have to offer. So follow me in and we're gonna go inside now. Here's the exhibit I was seeing on the trees. And these are Douglas firs. They're popular on the island. And they're believed to be 700 years old. And they have a wonderful gift shop here. So you definitely, if you come here, you can support them. They have wonderful videos that you can take home and watch at home. Learn about the history, books. And they're having a sale right now. And his drawings and letters. And this is what I was telling you earlier about the encampments. And this is a large room and it has a lot of different artifacts. Here they're telling you about all the different religious affiliations on the island. From Catholic to Lutheran to Jewish. And they're talking about the forestry and what the island used to look like and the tools that they did. Here they're talking about the LBGT Q plus community. And this was interesting. This is a graduation tassel that they uh, wear, or they provide to Bainbridge High School seniors who have been active, active contributors and members of the Sexuality and Gender Alliance. And this showcase here talks about uh, the Filipino community and how they married indigenous women from 19 different tribes in Canada, Alaska, and Washington State. And it shows the Strawberry Festival here, the annual strawberry, which is a celebration um, and also a fundraiser for the Filipino American Community Organization. And here they're showing again the identification tag and travel permits, unfortunately, that the Japanese had during the war. Here's another case, and it focuses on the African American community uh, on the island and different. Um, task force that they had to um, com combat racism. And here they talk about the military uh, community. So they, Bainbridge Island has a pretty big uh, military history with the U.S. Army Coast uh, Corps, and they were on Fort Ward between 1900 and 1903. Um, 
Um, if you definitely come to Bainbridge Island, you need to learn about the Skohamish tribe. They were definitely part of the ancestral heartland um, of this area, and their ancestors occupied uh, Western Washington at least 14, 14 hundred uh, thousand years ago. So that's a long time. So they've been living on the island and they're showing the baskets that they would leave and the boats and a little bit about their art. And they have a video here where you can learn about the island and all of the history that I just showed you in the case. So hopefully in your Bainbridge Island, you definitely come to the Bainbridge Historial, Historial Museum, make it a full day, stop, look at the shops, take the ferry. Maybe I'll see you there. Ciao.